All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Sportsdom coming back with another video. And this is my Dallas Stars at Buffalo Sabres post-game recap. So, a game the Sabres should have won. They should have won. They dominated this game. Every facet of this game, they dominated. Except for one, the scoreboard. Uko Pekka Sukkonen let in a very, 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 very soft goal that even the Sabres' own announcer said any goaltender in the NHL stops that. He's he's not a good goalie. I don't know how people think that this that this person, dude, whatever, is a good goalie. He's not. All right? He's not. He's 500. He's 12 and 12. Um, and on Saturday, probably going to be 12 and 13. You know, we can't win with this kid. We can't. We can't win with Uko Pekka sucking in. Um, so let's recap this. Uh, Goals, Dallas 2, Buffalo 1, Shots, Stars 31, Sabres 48, uh, Block Shots, Dallas Stars 23, Buffalo Sabres 13, Hits, Dallas 15, Buffalo 11, Faceoffs, Stars 49, Sabres 33, uh, Power Plays, Dallas Stars 1, Buffalo Sabres 1, uh, Penalty Minutes, uh, Penalty minutes, uh, Dallas 8, Buffalo 10. I think that's power play goals uh, there. Scoring. In the first period at 358, it was Dallas Matt Duchesne, his 18th of the season. On the power play, assisted by Ta uh, Taylor, Tyler Sagan, his 23rd, and Marshman, his 22nd. And it's 1-0 Dallas. And then at 5.53, or after 1, it's one nothing Dallas. And then in the second period, at 5.53, it was Buffalo's Tage Thompson, his 15th of the season, on the power play. Assisted by Rasmus Dahlin, his 26th, and Jeff Skinner, his 17th. And it's a 1-1 game. And then at 9.04, it was Dallas's Sam Steele, his sixth of the season, assisted by Faxa, his eighth, and Smith, his fourth. And after two, it's 2-1 two Dallas. No scoring in a third. 2-1 to one, Dallas Stars beat the Buffalo Sabres. Uh, like I said, in a game, the Sabres should have won. They dominated this game. Uh, they dominated one of the best teams in the Western Conference, and Uko Pekka sucking in lets in a very soft goal, and he's done that a lot, you know. Um, but penalties in the first period at two thirty four was Buffalo's Tage Thompson two minutes for hick, uh, hooking, and in the second period, in the uh, in the second period at four thirty nine it was Dallas Roop. Rupe, Rupe Hines, uh, two minutes for holding. At 11.48, at 11 it was Dallas's Mero Heiskanen, two minutes for holding. And at 13.58, it was Dallas's Sam Steele, two minutes for high sticking. In the third period, at 43 seconds, it was Dallas's Matt Duchesne, two minutes for holding. At 7.07, .07, it was Buffalo's Jordan Greenway, two minutes for holding. And at 7.49, it was Buffalo's Uko Pekka sucking in. Two minutes for tripping. And at 15.28, it was Buffalo's Henry Yoki Haru. Two minutes for tripping. And at 17.11, it was Buffalo's Connor Clifton. Two minutes for cross-checking. I mean, people say shoot the puck, shoot the puck, shoot the puck, and eventually one's going to go in. I mean, how many more fucking shots do they need? Uh, they had 48 fucking shots. I mean, how many fucking shots do you want them to have? I mean, they, this team just can't score. This team really doesn't doesn't want to score because otherwise they
they would have scored six on, on Dallas. You know, and it, and it's not, uh, oh, they ran into a hot goaltender, because that's what we say after every loss. Oh, they ran into a hot goaltender. Well, why can't the other team run into our hot goaltender? You know, that, that makes no fucking sense. Oh, they ran into a hot goaltender. I don't buy that fucking bullshit, all right? That, that's, that's just, that's just copping out and saying, oh, well, they played good, but the other goaltender played good. No, our goaltenders play good, too. We just refuse to score. They don't want to score, and it shows they don't want to score, because otherwise they would have. If they wanted to, they would, all right? If they wanted to score, they would have scored, plain and simple. Even the, even Rob Ray and their own announcer said, if they want to score, they would, because... You know, they had Ottinger, you know, on the ropes and, you know, the, he wasn't a hot goaltender. It's, even they said Uko Pekalukanen was playing better in his games than, than Ottinger was. There was no reason, you have 48 shots, there's no reason, you only have one goal. No reason for that. That 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 just goes to show they don't want to score. That that's that just goes to show that. Uh, but they weren't physical, uh, and they lost this game because Uko Pekka Lukanen likes to let in fucking soft ass goals. That's why he sucks. That's why he's Luko Pe Uko Pekka sucking in, uh, because he's not a good goaltender. Uh, and I, at the trade deadline, I wouldn't mind trading him. You know, call Levi back up and uh, let's go with Levi and Comrie uh, for the rest of the season. Fuck this Uko Pekka sucking in character. Uh, trade him at the deadline. Get a get a uh, bag of pucks. You know, don't even get a draft pick. Just get a bag. Tell him you want a hockey puck for him. And uh, we'll take a hockey puck. Uh and that's all we need to get for, for Uko Pekka sucking in. Because nobody's going to even give up a 7th round pick for this sucking in character. They might give up a hockey puck. I would take the hockey puck. Uh, if I was Kevin Adams, I'd be, hey, look, we're looking for a hockey puck. And we'll give you a Uko Pekka sucking in. And I would take that deal. Teams would be crazy not to take that deal. All you have to give up is a hockey puck. I would take that deal, uh, and I'd make that deal in a heartbeat. I, I wouldn't even hesitate to 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 receive a hockey puck for Uko Pekka sucking in, you know, maybe even a bag of chips. All right, but they they can't go with with Uko Pekka sucking in on Saturday. I think they need to send him down to Rochester uh, and bring up Devin Levi because. They can't win with Uko Pekka sucking in. And, and there's many games this year he's proven that. Um, they, they, they're not going to win with Uko Pekka sucking in. They got to go 21 7 and 4 to even, you know, they got to be 13 games over 500 if they even want a chance to be close to a playoff spot. Um, I don't know. Fire the coach, uh, get some fresh voices in here. Somebody that'll get in these kids' faces because apparently they don't care. Uh, and it shows on the ice that they don't care. They won't hit. Uh, and you, uh, at one point, you can hear Don Granado screaming, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. You got to be physical. And what do they do? I don't give a fuck. You know, I, I don't give a fuck. I'm not going to do what my coach says. You know, it, it, it's not coaching. It's They're not listening. To the fucking coaches, all right? They're not listening, and no coach is going to come here and coach a team that don't listen to them. It's not going to happen. If people think, oh, fire Donnie and get somebody in here that'll get in their face, they're not going to listen. How can that coach be any fucking better if they're not going to fucking listen? You can't. So, guys, comment in the comment section below on what you think. And as always, if you like my videos, like, subscribe. And hit that bell notification so you don't miss a video. And the youth is showing on this team. They're the youngest team in the NHL. And it shows. Uh, and teams know that. And that's why they lick their lips when they see Buffalo on their schedule. 
uh, because they know it's a very young team and they're going to be able to manhandle these kids. And these kids won't do a goddamn thing about it. Uh, so, anyways, guys, comment, like, subscribe. Go Sabres. And uh, Saturday, we play St. Louis. Uh, I don't know what to think, guys. Just stay tuned for my St. Louis Blues at Buffalo Sabres uh, preview. And we'll go from there. Go Sabres.